Patients often ask, what is recovery like after gallbladder surgery when they're considering going ahead uh, with surgery to remove their gallbladder? Recovery involves many different things and means different things to different people. But in general, uh, there are a few kind of topics that are important to cover. First of all, pain. Uh, patients often experience pain after surgery. It's an expected outcome. Uh, the degree to which people experience pain is highly uh, variable and hard to predict. Um, but in general, it's a good idea to take Tylenol and ibuprofen if those are safe medications for you to take um, around the clock after surgery. And then oftentimes we'll also prescribe an opioid pain medication for pain uh, that is significant after those other two medications are taken uh, to provide patients comfort in moving around and being able to sleep and so forth. Um, pain lasts for varying amounts of time. Uh, commonly, patients uh, who have more significant pain requiring opioids would only require them for a few days after surgery, but again, this is uh, variable depending on the patient. Um, the next topic that's important in recovery is exercise. It's very important after surgery to walk, to be up and moving, not just to lie in bed, as this increases risks of blood clots and pneumonia. Um, but in terms of actual strenuous exercise, good idea to avoid anything that causes sharp pain at the incisions as you're doing it uh, for at least a couple weeks after surgery um, and really allow that uh, signal as your body's message to slow down if you're doing any activities throughout the six to eight week period after surgery that cause you sharp pain at your incisions. Um, additionally, when it comes to gallbladder disease, because this organ is involved in digestion of fats, we have to talk about diet and uh, what is reasonable in terms of diet after surgery. The general principle in gallbladder uh, treatment of gallbladder disease is that we want patients to be able to get back to eating a normal diet. Um, this means allowing you to be able to eat the fatty foods that may have been triggers for your symptoms prior to surgery. Um, that said, the gallbladder does serve a role in, in that process. And when it's gone, sometimes patients do have an adjustment period of a couple weeks where eating fatty foods can trigger some of their same digestive symptoms like bloating, belching, and sometimes loose bowel movements. So I would, I would say anecdotally about 80% of people do not have that transition period. Their body just very quickly transitions to understanding that the storage for bile, the gallbladder is no longer there and that bile is sent straight down from the liver um, and, and you can eat how you feel like almost right away. About 20% of people have um, that bloating, belching, and sometimes loose bowel movements after surgery. And fortunately, this is usually just a self-limited process. After a few weeks, most people get back to normal. Um, I have had some patients who have had a lot of loose bowel movements and made it fairly uncomfortable for them, so they've taken um, some fiber during those uh, couple week period. But most of the time, patients get back to a normal diet. And again, our goal is for patients to be able to eat how they like, hopefully a healthy diet, but how they like um, going forward after surgery. If you'd like to hear more about this, um, please give us a call. Check us out at bostongallbladder.com, and we look forward to meeting you in person.